Now, if I was in a crash, I'd have a harness holding me down, right? That's the most my neck can go. So my head's not going to hyperextend when the harness is holding my body. This is something I wanted for a long time. You know, safety is pretty important, and this is probably one of the most important safety pieces of equipment you can get. It's called a Hans device. It's, uh, it's made by Simpson. Okay, and then so this is the so this is the main Hans device piece. It goes around your neck like this. And then it has these tethers that attach to your helmet and it keeps your keeps your head from flying forward in a crash because like if you wear a harness it'll hold your body but your head like your head weighs a lot and so it'll just keep flying forward and this will like attach to your helmet and then it'll hold your helmet and hold your head back from flying forward when you crash. It also comes with the mounting hardware and I'll open it up. Stickers, a quick guide. Okay, so come with this hardware where you'll mount these to the side of your helmet. And these are like the anchor points. And if you look on your helmet, there's these pre drilled holes on most helmets you get. There's another hole. And what you do is you'll just mount this into into the helmet as the anchor point. And then you take these tethers and you'll like attach it to the back of your helmet. When you get this backing plate on the inside of the helmet behind the shell. So you'll pull out this padding a little bit. And then in here, it's kind of dark, but you'll want to like Go take this and go in here on the side and like slip it in. I think this tool will help you kind of shove it in. Actually, this tool is great. You want to line up that hole. Oh, it went too far. Come back. It's kind of difficult. Uh -oh. Perfect. So you put the bolt and the retainer together. And then you put the mounting plate. And then you take the spring washer and put it behind it. And then you put the base plate. Okay, now we'll line it up with the hole and try to get that threaded in there, hopefully. And then you want to use this to hold on the back side so it doesn't spin and tighten that baby down but don't over tighten it cool now let's do the other side so this other side I already have the base plate in same thing, take the bolt, put the, what's the proper word for this piece? Oh, the catch. So take the bolt and then the little catch piece, slip it in, and then the cap. Okay, and then you take the spring washer, or wave spring, 
mounting plate. And same thing. Screw it in. Screw that baby in. Hopefully it lines up. Oh yeah. Okay. Now that's on there real good. When you push down on it, that is what lets the latch lock in. You'll slip it over, push down, and it locks in. And it moves freely. There we go. So this, that piece has to go on the corner there to latch freely. So I actually need to adjust this. So it can like move freely, but not so much that it'll unscrew itself. Okay, so I'll just aim it backwards it looks like. This is how it is, all completed. All put together. Just quick release latch system. Just push it in and slide it forward and then it comes off. And you'll see here that it allows for full movement of your head. That left and right. So I'm gonna put this all together on to show you guys how it looks. So first we'll put the buttons on. See it's pretty pretty comfortable. up the helmet. Okay, I got the helmet on and now just now all we have to do is put it together. So you take this and you just push down and slide it back. Okay, see? Now it's on. Now this side, same thing. Gotta make sure it's the right position. Push down, slide it back. Okay, not going anywhere. See, I can move my head, turn it left and right. Now, if I was in a crash, I'd have a harness holding me down, right? That's the most my neck can go. So my head's not gonna hyperextend when the harness is holding my body in a fast crash. And uh, I think it'll, it's hard to kind of replicate right now because I have to hold this down myself. But yeah, that's like the most it'll let my head go so my head's not gonna fly forward. And then to take this off, same thing, push it down Slide it forward. And on this side, push down. Slide it forward and it pops off. And then take this off. So basically, that is the Hans device. Pretty neat. 
I'm excited to try it out at the track and not worry about pushing your car to the limit. So thank you for watching. Catch you guys next time.